Milwaukee police last encountered large protests and clashes during the George Floyd movement, of course, in 2020. They throwing, they throwing plenty. It's not publicly available, but 12 News has obtained the Milwaukee Police Rules of Engagement for protests during the RNC, which roughly mirror state training and standards for, quote, disturbance resolution. Because you want to have law enforcement be a, a uh, sort of stabilizing force within the protest environment so that they can bolster broader concerns about public safety, but also make sure the protests themselves are safe. According to the policy, officers will be wearing normal uniforms and warning protesters if they're entering areas they're not permitted. According to the policy, quote, visible changes to equipment and uniforms, like riot gear, are considered an escalation of force. If protesters are ordered to leave but refuse and are holding, quote, projectiles, police can use smoke. If the projectiles are thrown, officers can ramp up to pepper spray and onto rubber bullets, even using a sonic device that can create ear pain with a beam of directed audio waves. Jacob Glick at Georgetown Law says even though protesting is constitutionally protected, law enforcement has a responsibility to keep everyone safe. The First Amendment and the Second Amendment don't uh, constrain law enforcement from acting against uh, unlawful paramilitary activity or vigilante violence. So if there are situations where there are armed groups of uh, individuals acting together to sort of exert their force onto others, it's really important for law enforcement not to feel um, constrained uh, because in many cases, state law empowers them to respond because that is against state law. Nick, one of the tactics used by protesters in the past was blocking streets or even the freeways. Is law enforcement preparing for that as well? Right, that is the sheriff's office responsibility, and we have learned the sheriff's office more than doubling their freeway patrols, the number of deputies they'll have up on the freeway system to be ready in case any of the protesters move on to the freeway or the ramps. Right, Nick Gore reporting live in Milwaukee.